Hello everyone, I am Maven stylist Kalia Turner with SBK Hair, and today I will be showing you how to cut the A-line bob. Hello, today we will be styling the beautiful Kiana. What she is wearing is three bundles of dark root blonde 14 inch, along with a dark root blonde 14 inch lace closure. She also has customized rose gold streaks throughout her hair. So now we're about to begin the cut. Before I cut, what I like to add in the hair um, is Smooth Drop by Paul Mitchell, they're shine drops. What that helps do is help with the manageability of the hair movement and it also will help your shears slide and glide through the hair. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm gonna section the hair off into three sections and start in the back. Make sure when you're cutting that you're doing from ear to ear, especially with this style because every section of hair that you take is gonna be viable to the overall look that you actually are going for, which today we're going for the A-line. So from ear to ear, although it's a weave, you just have to go ahead and just act like it is straight off the person's hair. So when you're sectioning off for this cut, you wanna take the hair from the uh, angle. So you don't wanna go straight across cause you're gonna give it a straight across blunt cut. You wanna give it an angle cause we're actually following the angle of the cut. We're gonna Tilt our client's head down. Start with the first middle section. That's gonna create part of your guide. With this, I go in with the razor only because I don't want it to be blunt on the neck. I want it to sit nice and soft. Once you have decided your desired length, you wanna go ahead and do your first cut. And it's okay if you see serrated edges because you can always go through with your scissors and straighten that out. Next, what I'm gonna be doing is you're gonna pull, bring your hair down, but you're gonna pull it to the side because it's the A line. A goes this, this way out. Establish that with the guide that you have and go ahead and cut. Same thing with this side. You wanna pull it back. You establish that with your guide and you go ahead and you cut. You're gonna do the same thing with the opposite side. You're gonna repeat. Break it into an A, just like you were to draw the letter A with your pencil. Establish your guide and cut. You can either do this before or after, it all depends on how you work, but this is what I was talking about. Getting most of those longer pieces off, go in with your shears and just take it off. Then you wanna drop your next section and you're gonna follow exactly what you did. You're just gonna drop it down, part it from an angle. Start at the top. Bring it down. And make sure your sections are not thick because you do need to see your guide up underneath. Also, uh, make sure when you guys are cutting, make sure you're pivoting your body and you're moving your body along with what that you're cutting at. You should not be standing straight, cutting an angle, a line bob. You should be moving with it. Your arm will reflect the degree that you're going, so your elbow needs to be up at about a 30 degree angle. Also, being that this is a sewing, it's okay if your sections aren't completely clean, only because the way you put in your tracks, it's not necessarily gonna be the way you're gonna cut it. So as long as it brings the illusion that it's top coming high at the top and coming low at the bottom 
then and you pull the hair direction needs to be pulled you'll be fine so remember in the middle we're going to be bringing it down establishing our guide underneath and cutting it you only go to an angle when you get to the size and you pull it back So this step that I am doing now is I'm going to build weight and movement in the middle of the head. So when she turns her hair, her head, all this moves with it instead of just moving down here. We want it to move down here and we want it to move up here. So we're going to gradually build weight. So for these sections, you just need to go straight across. We already established the angle that we wanted. Put on this section of this hair. It's optional. You don't really have to. I like to keep it going every now and then um, just for the safety of my shears like I explained the sharpness it cut, gives you a precise clean cut alrighty so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the section that you have underneath that you previously cut because that's gonna be your guide for this we do not want her head down we want her head up we're building weight anytime your head is down you're taking away the weight if you're building up it has nothing to fall on so it's just gonna fall here and do this so we're going to ask our client to put her head up, which she already had, not that high up. <laughs> um, we're gonna ask our client to um, put their head up, just straight looking straight. Check their angles again. All right, everything's straight. And we're gonna take the section that we previously got done with underneath to be our guide. So you establish your guide up underneath by pulling the hair out at a angle, just, I mean, not at an angle, just straight out. All right, so you're gonna take it from there. I already established my guide. Take the razor and you're just gonna bring it down. Anything that's left behind, bring it back. Your guide is right there, take it off. Same thing, you're gonna, not gonna pull it to the side. You wanna make sure that everything stays behind so we can create that angle. Okay, you're gonna pull it straight out. Created my guide and we're going to cut. And repeat okay I'm gonna repeat that step as well and what I'm gonna start doing is pulling the hair to the back where I have established the layers in the hair so you're still gonna bring it all the way back but make sure you have your your guide only because once we cut it we want the angles to fall all in the same area so I start building the weight and the um I start building the texture and the weight right in here so what I'm cutting is going to lead right into this middle so it's kind of like follow the leader I get my guide ready and set that I'm going to be following get the hair from the top bring it all the way back my guide is right there and I cut, pull the hair all the way back. Make sure it's very important that you guys keep the hair pulled back behind your client, behind their ear. That's how you're really gonna get the intensity of the A-line. Short push is long, you don't gotta worry about it moving, it's gonna move itself. That's what we're creating in this hair. And for this last section, you're gonna do the same thing. Um, make sure that this hair does not stop on the side. You bring it all, even you have to over direct it, over direct it all the way back as much as you can. Even though it's a weave, over direct it all the way to the back. So now I can go on with my scissors and just get the small little serrated edges that I don't want there. I don't want the hair to get stuck. I want it to move freely. So you go the same direction you cut those small little things I don't want. Take them off. All they're gonna do is end up getting stuck between the hair and allowing the hair not to move as smoothly as you would like. So you go in the same direction that you cut in with the same section and you can actually meet. Okay, so we have established um, our guide and our texture and layers on this side. What I'm gonna do is come to the front just to give it a little bit more shape and define it a little bit more for her bang before we move to the next section. 
So what I want to do is make sure that I'm not going to go too short and I'm not going to keep it too long. I wanted to keep this movement. Beautiful. And that is how you cut an A-line bob. Thanks for watching. And this is how you cut an A-line bob. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to Maven's YouTube channel.